Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, please subscribe to my channel. It is December 13th and it's a, it's a great day for propagation. A little overcast, a little humid. It's also getting a little bit close to Christmas and so if you're looking for gifts, you know, how about, how about one of these guys? How about a plant that you propagated yourself? One of those gifts from the heart. Uh, anyway, what I want to do today is talk to you about propagation of sunflower. And the sunflower that I'm working with today is dune sunflower. I'm in southwest Florida. Dune sunflower is native to Florida. Actually, sunflower as a crop is native to North America. So it's one of the few crops that's actually uh, native to, uh, to the United States and America. And there's a lot of um, interest in sunflower. The sunflower that's grown as a crop, it's tall, it's produced for, it's produced for the oil that it makes, and it's also, uh, it can be a confectionery type of sunflower. But the sunflower I want to talk about, and you've seen them in your yard, the beautiful sunflower plant. Plants um, that grow in people's yards. Uh, there's tall ones, there's short ones, there's an incredible diversity of sunflower. And what I have today, what I want to talk to you about, is dune sunflower, which is native to the uh, southern uh, United States. Uh, there are, in, in Florida, there are two different types, two different subspecies of dune sunflower. There's the East Coast and the West Coast. And you're supposed to be careful about mixing, uh, not mixing them up. Uh, the uh, um, the sunflower, the dune sunflower, is Helianthus um, daedalus, uh, and the uh, the regular sunflower, the cultivated sunflower, is Helianthus annuus. So they're same genus, different species. The subspecies of the dune sunflower, which is the Helianthus daedalus. Uh, there's two. One is subspecies Debilis, and the other is uh, subspecies uh, Vestitis. Um, and I'm not going to really, um, we don't want to talk about the species, but let's talk about the East Coast and, and the West Coast. So the East Coast sunflower has different characteristics. Um, it's supposed to keep them separate. The uh, East Coast sunflower, the, uh, the leaves tend to be uh, more smooth at the edge. They tend to be complete. The serrations in the leaves are smaller and the plants are not very ha hairy. On the, uh, the west coast, the dune sun sunflower that's native to the west coast, the leaves are a little bit more deeply serrated and the stems of the plants are, are hairy. They're much hairier and you're supposed to keep them separate. Um, sunflower is propagated mostly from seed. But what I want to do is show you propagation from cuttings uh, because, we, I, I, because I've actually been more successful in propagation of dune sunflower from cuttings. It's very efficient. It works quite well. I haven't been very successful in propagation of seed of the dune sunflower, which is somewhat surprising because sunflower is supposed to be so easy uh, to propagate. But the nice thing is that, oh, I should also mention that the East Coast and the West Coast, they're subspecies. The East Coast, West Coast dune sunflower are subspecies. So they do interbreed and they interbreed at very high frequency. And what you can get is all different types of forms of the hybrids, which makes it very difficult to separate the East Coast from the West Coast when you're, when you're looking around. So that's a little bit point of concern. But the bottom line is the, uh, the dune sunflower is incredibly drought tolerant so it grows really well it's a native sunflower it requires very little care regardless of which coast you're on and so that's why I like it and that's why I like growing it uh, the flowers are small as you might imagine compared to the regular sunflower uh, the plants are really short and, and bushy so it's a really nice drought tolerant plant and there's a lot of interest in growing it as far as part of a native garden uh, in southern Florida so what I have is a bunch of cuttings uh, that I've taken from some of the local sunflower sessions uh, right here. Uh, these cuttings, I just took cuttings this morning, I put them in water, and I've been, they've been waiting for me to come and propagate them. Uh, so for propagation, we're going to be using the methods that I've been using really for propagation of many plants, and that is just a rooting powder, take a cutting, remove most of the leaves, use a rooting powder, and put it in good quality soil. The soil that I use, that I'm using today, is the miracle Grow Moisture Control Potting Mix. Good stuff. Uh, I recommend for if you're using 
Uh, if you're making cuttings, I recommend using a uh, potting mix like this. It just works very well. It retains the water. It's also good. Your, your plants will survive uh, after they are rooted. They'll survive much better if they're, if they're rooted in this material because it tends to retain the water, especially if you're in a, an area that's dry. And the soils in this area are very sandy and dry. So they tend to do better if you, pot, if you root them in a good soil mix. And I, I'm pointing down here because this is where all my pots are. Um, this is very straightforward. So I put the potting mix in these pots. I then moist, I then water them, get them a little, a little wet. I water them so that they have, <clears throat> they've, they've been uh, moistened a little bit. And then I go ahead and I, I poke holes in the pots uh, like this. So just take a, a stick or a screwdriver or, or a dowel or anything you want and place holes uh, in this, uh, in this potting mix. And this is what you'll stick. Uh, you're cutting into. All right, so let me take a cutting here. And the cutting that you want to take is about, is about this long. All right, so here's the cutting. Uh, you can see, I think, that there's a flower uh, bud coming out on it. There's lots of leaves. And what we're going to do is take most of the leaves off. We're going to leave two or three leaves on here. I'll get a little closer so you can see and we're going to take this flower off. The flower takes a lot of energy out of the plant, so we're going to really cut this thing back. And then what we're going to do is dip this stem in water. So what we have, our cutting is like this. So we're going to dip this in water and then we are going to place it in rooting powder. The rooting powder is right here. I've shown you this. I've used this before and this is a garden safe uh, take root. It contains endobutyric acid which causes root initiation. It's at a low enough level so that it won't inhibit root elongation. Um, but we use this stuff. Um, one of the things is I did contact the people at garden safe. There were reports that this material contained a fungicide. That's one of the concerns when you root cuttings is that they'll rot and I thought and I, I thought that there might be some fungicide in there and so I contacted them and I said is there any fungicide and they said absolutely not just the rooting hormone and and the substrate for holding it so this material uh, it's pretty safe it works well in this container it's just a white powder and so you place your wet shoot in there so that the white powder sticks to it and then you place it in your pot and you firm the moistened soil around it and i'm going to do this a few more times so you can see see it and see how easy it is okay so i'll take another long shoot here i will remove most of the leaves and if there's a flower on it, which there is, I'll remove the flower, little tiny flower bud right here. But what the flower does, it just, it just, you know, the plant puts all the energy into the flower, so it just sucks the power, energy out of the, out of the cutting, and you don't want that. All right, so what we have here, again, just to show you what this is and how tiny this is. So this is the cutting, and I'm going to place it in my in my pot, firm around the soil. And what you do after you, after you put the uh, cutting in here, you wanna give it another drink of water. And this is just to make sure that the soil kind of settles around the cutting. And because that's where the roots are gonna come from. So I'm gonna do this a few more times and uh, I'm gonna show you the result. Okay, so I have 
a lot of these left to do and you don't need to watch me uh, do all of them but let me show you what uh, what these guys will grow into and what they look like so these are plants and I took cuttings of this probably about um, about three months ago I started out in pots like this so there's two plants that I have in a pot and then after these things grew after about three weeks or four weeks I just put it into a bigger pot and again I have a big pot here with a good quality soil and this is what I'll plant in the dry soil in this area and what again what this does when you use this is it it you get much better survival of these plants they look like they're a little they're wilted but but they're they're not uh, it's just these plants are getting big uh, for this pot and they're just they're they're actually pretty massive uh, leaves on this guy so that's all I have for today I just wanted to show you uh, propagation through cuttings of dune sunflower just a wonderful drought tolerant plant for uh, growing in really warm climates in the southern United States so uh, that's all I have if you're interested in learning more about what I do, please subscribe to my channel. And happy propagating.